talk about this one. Have you guys seen this? This looks like it's what's his face? Who's that guy's name again? This looks like uh, Anthony Cumia maybe being a little bit racismo to Bill Burr and his wife. Let's do a um I think this is an old clip. I think this is old, right? I just saw this on Joe Rogan's sub, but I think this is old where he complains. I think him and Bill Burr have beef, right? But let's see what he says. This is Anthony Cumia moaning and whinging about Bill Burr. Let's see this. I think this is old, though. People that are uh, uh, watching and remember what I was doing yesterday after the show, uh, going to see Jimmy Norton at the Big Black Pussycat. Loved it. Loved Jimmy. Uh, hugged my good friend Jimmy Norton. I love him. And uh, we are inseparable. Uh, had a few drinks. Had a few drinks. Went over to the Comedy Cellar, which, of course, is the iconic comedian of New York gathering place. Now, last night, or the night before last, actually, was the Patrice O'Neill Benefit. The Patrice O'Neill Benefit. Uh, I was at a couple of them until, well, I became something called persona non grata. I think that's Latin or French, something like that. But I am persona non grata, and uh, I was not invited back. And it was a personal thing between uh, Bill Burr. No offense, but this, this nigga is ugly. God damn it, bro. And me and Bill's wife, and uh, not as sordid as I just made it sound. But um, so I go to the cellar, and I think Amy Schumer was there too. I saw her walk in. I think she went right downstairs. And her security guy. Now, who is Amy Schumer's security guy? G Garrett? Cake boss? Ginger ale, Joe. Close. Close. <laughs> Club soda, Kenny. There you go. Club soda, Kenny. He's kind of got that menacing look of like he always plays like the villain in a in a movie or in a TV series, like the evil villain. He kind of reminds me of the actor. You know the actor in Yellowstone? No, the actor in um, 1923, the prequel to Yellowstone, one of the prequels, where there's this guy who plays like the kind of enemy of like, the Duttons. He's like this cowboy. He's kind of got like a weathered face. I think he's in Game of Thrones also. He kind of reminds us, he's, got, he's kind of got that face of, the, of those kind of villainy type looking guys who's always up to no good, never be trusted. Wow. He spits on his own floor. I never understood that. So Kenny walks in. Ew. Amy is in front of him. So he probably couldn't see much of the club. <laughs> Big fat ass. Amy. Get it? So uh, I go, I go, Kenny, Kenny. He looks at me, turns his head and keeps walking. And I keep going, Kenny, Kenny. Nothing. Totally ignored totally ignored well he's security guy and i get that part of it being security for somebody should not make you obligated to despise the people that your client despises should it especially if you've had a relationship over the course of the years a very close relationship I many times was his client. I was mostly uh, uh, a Keith the Cops client, but Kenny was mostly like Opie's client uh, or Opie's uh, uh, security guy. Uh, so I'm just like, all right, look, I even got that. I got it. Amy, Amy does not like me at this point. I bashed the shit out of her as well we all should. She's a Schumer for fuck's sake like Chuck Schumer. She bashes uh, our, our Second Amendment right. So I, I, I was like, okay, no big. I'm having a few drinks. And as I had brought up 
prior, the uh, the Patrice O'Neill benefit was the night before, and people are still in town. Now, who who? But I love quizzing the booth. Who puts on the Patrice O'Neill benefit every year? Bill Burr. Bill Burr. Bill Burr. Well, if Bill Burr's in town and all these comics that did the show, they're in town. Where would they go in New York City? A familiar place where they came up and the comedy cellar in New York City. So Bill Burr comes in and I'm sitting there. I see Bill and I'm not going to be a faggot. It was Bill Burr, by the way. It was not someone that looked like Bill Burr that I took a picture of or a video and didn't talk to or attempt to have some words with. I did attempt to have some words with Bill Burr. I was going over there to be sincere, to try my best to, as uh, as Bobby Kelly said, bury this shit with Burr. Bobby Kelly told me that. He goes, could you bury this shit with Burr? So I'm like, look, we're both here. Let me bury this shit with Burr. I'll try it. I walk up to the table. Look out. Uh, he's sitting down. I, I kind of uh, used a chair to put my knee on to get on a, a level. I said, Billy, how, what's up? How you doing? Uh, Dan! Ooh. Now I'm starting to think, maybe this was not the best move. His dude wasn't, dude! It was, dude! Like, like when he talks about white women. <laughs> Just disdain in his voice. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad Bill Burr kept... Fucking- I'm glad Bill Burr kept the same energy, mate. That's why Bill Burr's my flipping OG. That's why he's my dog. That's why I flipping listen to his podcast on a weekly basis. He's the G. Rip, 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 respect to Bill Burr. You're talking to me after the shit you said about my wife. Hey, Bill. First of all, the fans are the ones that kicked that whole fucking thing off. Never said... Well, I didn't get that much out before. Now, let me think. Let me ask the booth. Probably should have punched him, mate. Who else does Club Soda Kenny do security for? Jim Norton. Jim Norton. Very good. But I had seen Jim prior to that and spoken to him, and he was great. Funny fuck show. He's one of the loves of my life, Jim Norton. So that wasn't really an issue that he's done security for that. Now we have talked, Amy Schumer, she was in, I guess she was downstairs doing a a set or something. And someone else that Club Soda Kenny does security for. It can't be Opie. No, he had (laughs) done security for the great Greg Opie Hughes beer show. Watch it on Opie Radio. He's showing his face now and stuff. I know. Yeah. I guess ever since uh, uh, Alex uh, uh, Stein uh, did uh, presented him, uh, he's now like, okay, I could show my face. Yeah. I saw him in a restaurant, um, <laughs> actually at a bar just prior to this. Uh, pop up um, Anthony Cumia uh, Twitter and look at maybe the last post, something like that. I saw Opie, and again, I was too much of a fag to walk up and say hi. But once again, there he was. I saw him at the bar. 1998, Greg Opie Hughes was at the bar I was just at. And again. I- so you saw him at the bar and you snuck a picture of him instead of going to say hi. I'm such a faggot. I didn't have the balls to go up to him like I did, you know, Bill Burr at the cellar. Uh Uh-oh, I think I just gave it away. Club Soda Kenny does security for Bill Burr. So when I was up there chatting, trying to bury this shit with Bill Burr, 
his security guy, Club Soda Kenny, quite literally threw me out of the comedy cellar. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He chest bumped me out of the fucking place. Love it. Love it. I was not worthy to bury the shit with Bill Burr. And by the way, that's why I never tried to bury the shit with Bill Burr. In my drunken haze last night, it seemed like a good idea. Bobby Kelly echoing in my head. You got to bury this shit with Bert, dude, and get a bandolier. Kenny, the guy I fucking spent years with <laughs> as one of our security guys, <laughs> chest bumped me, physically was doing removed his job. me. Didn't even surprise security guard does his job. <laughs> Nicely be like, listen, man, you got to no. just no. straight to physical. Go. Go, go. Now, you fuckers know. When I'm drunk, you cunts know I'm a magnanimous fucking dick face. I'm kidding. See, that's part of the joke. I don't get drunk and belligerent. I'm not a belligerent guy. As Press X for doubt. Press X for doubt. Especially when I'm trying to bury shit. I don't go, I didn't go, uh, look, Billy Bear. Ooh, man DeLorean, but probably woman DeLorean, faggot DeLorean. Oh, that sounds like pure and utter hate. Wow, that sounds like Eric Griffin level bitterness, bruv. Jesus Christ, Anthony Cumia. In anything but man DeLorean. Didn't do that. And then I was physically removed by club soda kenny dude i'm beside myself fuck i'm beside myself just thinking this has been on my mind that this fucking guy who we <laughs> supported paid He's more offended that a former security guard who actually works as a security guard for other people now and isn't his security guard and isn't his friend didn't treat him like a friend and instead treat him like a security guard. He's more offended at that than Bill Burr telling him to go get the fuck out of here. Love it. And enjoyed the company of for years. I was just another piece of shit in the way yeah. Of one of his paychecks. It's called having a job. <laughs> and doing your job really well. <laughs> I was just another piece of garbage that needed to be removed because his paycheck might have been uh, getting upset. Big up Club Soda Kenny, by the way. Wherever you are right now, I hope you're having all the club sodas and I hope you are booked and busy, my friend. You do clearly... You do a great job. Clearly, you take your job seriously and clearly you're good at it because the great Bill Burr hired you and you got this trash out of the club. Big up. That I would dare try to bury that shit with Bill Burr. I am fucking disgusted. <laughs> fucking disgusted. Fuck Bill Burr up his fucking ginger black wife ass. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Fuck Club Soda <laughs> Kenny. <laughs> I don't know what to say about him. I, I'm not, I haven't been mad at him long enough Jesus to come up with anything Christ. I can say. He's a pedophile. He's gone flat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll come up with something. Fuck them all. Fuck them all. And Keith Robinson sitting across, not saying shit. With all the help and support I give the black community. Will Rogan step in and say something? Will he ignore it and just hope it goes away? Will Kumia come back on the JRE very soon and they'll act like nothing happened? 
tune in next time on another episode of the JRE Extended Universe, <laughs> where drama abounds and talent is lacking. <laughs> Holy shit, man. These guys are redacted, redacted, redacted. Absolute redacted. Anyway, 